This was a gut punch to us completely. Stephen Dutra was stunned to learn that lab results from his pesticide testing machines were falsified. He says the former lab director at Sequoia Analytical Labs admitted the fraud after a surprise visit last week by state inspectors. When they asked the lab director uh, where his data came from, he honestly told them, I faked it. Fake data involving 22 out of the 66 pesticides typically tested on cannabis, with more than 700 lab results over a four-month span now in question. Sequoia immediately fired the lab director and then surrendered its temporary testing license to the State Bureau of Cannabis Control. But more sanctions could be coming from the city of Sacramento. And we're going to be taking a look at, a look at spending or possibly revoking their permit. The temporary loss of a testing lab comes at a time when consumer demand for cannabis products continues to grow. And on the retail level, dispensaries like All About Wellness are waiting for further instructions from the state. So from a consumer confidence standpoint, what are you telling your customers about this situation? Um, basically everything's being taken care of by the state. If there is a problem, the state will let us know. But the Bureau of Cannabis Control has said nothing publicly about any possible recall of the marijuana samples in question. Sequoia Analytical Labs has offered to pay for additional testing. We would like to see that those samples be released to another lab and tested very quickly for pesticides. Again, if there's any product that's harmful, we want to know right away. Dutra says that typically just 3% of all cannabis samples tested actually fail because of pesticide exposure. And he believes that any samples still in circulation pose a very minimal risk to the public. Much of this product is, is just gone and uh, probably already consumed.